Hey Fit Fam, we have one of our veteran guests on the show, Mark G, and he will be sharing us one day's worth of meal prep. Good morning, my name is Mark. This is my one day meal prep. Number one, first I start off with a cup of coffee. Black, this lady has no calories yet. I'll have this first, then I'll go do my workout. Then when I come home, it's time to make my protein shake. So what I'll do is I will take my almond milk and I'll use one cup. And from there, I like to get my proteins early in the morning. So I will take two scoops. This one, today I decided we're gonna have chocolate. And then a half a cup of frozen berries, this way to keep it cold. Slam it in, screw it on, and now it's gonna get a little loud. Sla Pop it in. Let it blend up. Clean up too. And she's done. During the week, we have to always have something, to, a bit of a snack. So we'll make it ahead of time. So usually, hard boiled eggs we'll have. I'll sometimes throw in a little bit of pepper just to give it a little bit of a um, spice. Use it for to get more of your protein in there. The other thing is, Sonia will make uh, Jen's uh, Protein balls, we'll make them pre ahead of time, two of them, and you're set. And that's your, that could be our midday, our mid morning snack. One of the things we like to use for a snack to get some extra protein and some fats is we'll have cottage cheese. And we'll take cottage cheese, and you can either have it with, with just tomatoes, you could have it with fresh berries, or another way that we like to have it is with peanut butter and jam. It sounds disgusting, but it is great, and I challenge you to try it. So my next thing for lunch that I like to have is you can make it ahead of time in the crock pot. It's for eight servings. It's a crock pot Mexican casserole, and it's perfect for lunch. If you make it ahead of time, you could pack it up and then you just put it in Chef Mike and you're good, your lunch is great. You could even have it for dinner if you really needed to. And it's perfect because it has about 322 calories. You're at about 14 grams of protein and 25 grams of carbs. Another thing that we like to make for dinner, and we'll make a big batch of it and then just freeze it, which is basically the green bean meatball stir fry. So you just make your meatballs ahead of time, you freeze them, take them out, and then when you decide you're gonna have it, you just get your green beans, you make your sauce, and you're all set. Now I've made a double order, so you can freeze this and it'll last up to about three months, but generally it's gone within a month. Thank you, Neri, for letting me be a part of meal prep to come and see what I do. This is uh, the main objective is always to put it in my fitness pal the day ahead. So this way you can kind of judge on what you're short and where you could add in. I'll start off, of course, with a morning with a cup of coffee before I go to the gym. Then when I come back, my protein shake. Then I will have a snack on either hard boiled eggs or some Jen peanut butter balls or maybe both depending on how I feel. Got another protein powder shake just in case I'm a little short. For lunch, I'll have neither of uh, cottage cheese with blue, uh, cherry tomatoes or our favorite cottage cheese with peanut butter and jam and I challenge you to try it and you'll love it. And then for lunch or even dinner, we'll have the Mexican uh, crock pot Mexican casserole or green beans and meatballs, stir fry. Meal prep is simple, don't overthink it and just follow the process, it works. Thanks, Mark G, for coming back on the show. I learned so much from you. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'll see you next week.